Hey guys, Adam the OT back again. And this week's simple, fun, and effective motor skills activity has a distinctly Irish flavor because we're from Ireland. That's right. And with St. Patrick's Day coming up, we thought your little learners might like something Irish. So we're going to need just something as simple as one empty toilet paper tube to mix a lovely little Irish picture with shamrocks. Okay? Is my little guys ready? And we'll ship Ray. So this activity is called Stampin' Shamrock. So we've seen this done a few different ways. This is the way I like to do it, and I think it works really well, and the kids really enjoy it too, okay? So I'm gonna take a blank piece of paper, and I'm gonna take a green marker. To start off with, I'm gonna make stems of three shamrocks. You can do as many as you want, but three is a good number to start off with, okay? Of course, the child can do this themselves, all right? To help them focus and make this a little bit easier to access and make it a little clearer, I'm gonna do a little cross at the top of each shamrock too. You'll see why that is when we go to use the stamps, okay? That's it, simple as that. Then I'm gonna make our little shamrock stamper. So here's one I was using with the girls. I can show you how to make it, but if I just turn it over to the other side. So it's just the middle of a toilet roll. Uh, you'll get it like this. All you're gonna do is break one end of it and push it into the middle, and then fold it in on itself like that. Pinch it just a little bit, okay? Pinch the bottom to make this heart shape, and just kind of mold it around to make that kind of like the leaf of a shamrock is like a heart. If you want to mold it and make it a little bit fancier, put your fingers inside. You can kind of curve it around your fingers like this. And that'll make it even more kind of accurate to a proper little shamrock shape like that. Okay? So when I have got my shamrock stamper, I'm going to take my stamper. I'm going to roll it in some just green poster paint. Tap, tap, tap. So there's not too much on it. And then to make our leaves, I'll put the point of the leaf in the middle of the uh, cross, like so. One, two, and three. Easy peasy, and that's one shamrock. I do this again. Now you can have a few different colors of green paint if you want, different shades. You have lots more and kind of layer them up on the page. That works nicely too. Now you see how I'm using the, the little cross and putting the point of the leaf right in the middle of the cross? And that's a great, easy way for the child to kind of orient it. You see, there's a lot of kind of dexterity here. They can use two hands if they want to. They can move it around. Once they get the idea of it, though, because it's so clear and so accessible for a wide range and wide age of kids, they kind of get it very, very quickly. And then they can do as many shamrocks as they want throughout the whole page. And that's it, guys. That's Stampin' Shamrocks. And that's it, guys. It's as simple as that. You want to show us your pictures, guys? Very nice. Okay, and what do we call this activity, Mia? Stamping shamrocks. Stamping shamrocks. That's right. Okay, and remember, if you do like these videos, what do they do? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, and you'll stay updated with our weekly posts of these little videos. Okay, we hope you enjoy them. From Mia and Abby and myself and the people of Ireland. Thank you very much, and I'm the OT.